Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the football mania and what has been a sensational January transfer window for some teams has been a really depleting, depressing transfer window for some others. And European football has seen some crazy transfers. To be honest, this is one of the best transfer windows if you are a Newcastle United fan and one of the worst if you are a fan of one of the big clubs in the Premier League like Manchester United and Arsenal Football Club, of course. And where should I start? Right since the beginning of this new year, I was expecting the big clubs to be proactive. But, you know, to my utter amazement and astonishment, it's the other way around. Teams that are looking to go to the next level, the next pedestal are the ones like Newcastle United who have got rich money, they are super rich right now and the likes of Aston Villa and Burnley are making significant moves to you know even close the gap. And to be honest, I was really expecting one of the teams which is challenging for the top 4 spots to be proactive. But what did I see? Neither Arsenal, Manchester United or West Ham United were proactive. But Antonio Conte's Tottenham had a major statement to make when they signed Rodrigo Bentancur and Kulusevski on loan. Well, this is a massive move for Tottenham and to be honest, one of the signings of this transfer window has to be Kulusevski. He has been in sensational form for Juventus and it was something which I was expecting Antonio Conte to make because for so many weeks, uh, Kulusevski was linked with Tottenham and to be honest, I am really, really surprised by how Arsenal and Manchester United have let this January transfer window slip up because you expect such big teams to be, you know, taking the next step and becoming that kind of authoritative club, which they are not. And it is a really, really big surprise, especially Arsenal who have, you know, given out five players on loan. It's really surprising. How can you... In the final day of the transfer window, in deadline day, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has left all the Arsenal fans stunned. And Mikel Arteta obviously had a very big war with their captain Aubameyang and it has finally fructified. And we have seen Aubameyang go to El Prat Airport in Barcelona. To be honest, even Arsenal did not, you know, feel really surprised by it. They wanted him to leave. But it was up to Aubameyang and his agent how they negotiate for a contract with Barcelona. And he has signed an 18-month loan with the Catalan Giants. It is one of the biggest transfers which I would say for this window. Apart from Bruno Guimaraes who has made a sensational move from Lyon to Newcastle United. And we have to give credit to how Eddie Howe has also turned things around. This is a team which is fighting for relegation at the moment. And they have made five major signings. This is one of the biggest statements which I have seen from a football club right now. And that is Newcastle United. And to be honest, I was not expecting all the other teams to be so proactive. But the way FC Barcelona have also done some very good business. It is Adama Traore who is one of the best, you know, wingers in world football. His pace, his trickery and his strength on the ball is something really good to watch. And you also have the likes of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang who will be teaming up once again with Usman Dembele. You have Memphis Depay, you have Luke De Jong and Xavi is building a team which can still compete for the top four spots in La Liga. And it is something which we have seen in the past that all these big clubs do not make such severe moves. They have the money but sometimes they are really cautious. But I just don't understand how these clubs like Manchester United and Arsenal are so, so you know, lethargic in terms of taking the next step. For example, Manchester United have allowed Donny van de Beek and Anthony Martial to go on loan. And it is a very, very big surprise. They are already short on midfield. And Donny van de Beek was craving for chances. And he's kind of player who can make the difference once he comes on as a substitute or when he's playing in the number 10 role. Unfortunately, at Manchester United, you have Bruno Fernandes who can fill in the void and can find those incisive passes for Ronaldo and Cavani to score. So, in my personal opinion, January has been a crazy transfer window. We have seen some really good signings. But to be honest, I was expecting more from especially Arsenal and Manchester United. And they have been the biggest losers. Come May, we might definitely see Tottenham competing for the top four. And they might take it away. 
because Antonio Conte is a man who is a serial winner. And if you give Antonio Conte the budget and the money to do whatever he wants, to sign the players that he wants, he will, you know, definitely take the club to the next level. And I'm expecting Arsenal to be nothing short of sixth in this league because they have not taken any steps. They have you know, loaned out five players, as I already mentioned. There is no additions which can actually bolster the squad. And they're really short in terms of strikers and in terms of midfielders. Well, even if someone suddenly gets COVID and there's a COVID outbreak, you never know what will happen. And it is really, really, you know, worrying signs for Arsenal Football Club. So all fans of such big Premier League clubs, please beware. Your team, if especially your Arsenal or Manchester United, you are going to suffer if you are not going to be, you know, behind this team. And this board of these clubs is also really surprising. So what, you know, really baffles me is that you have the funds, you have the money, you have the power to spend, but you... You never take that step. And until and unless the deadline day approaches, none of these clubs made a significant move and they only loaned out players. So how does it strengthen the squad? Can anyone please explain me? It is the biggest crime, the biggest mistake which these clubs are making. And at the moment, I cannot see any way back for any of these teams. So guys, it has been a really, really baffling transfer window. I was expecting a bit more from these teams. But unfortunately, we have seen nothing. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Who was the best transfer in this January transfer window? Please put it in the comment section. And for regular updates from the world of football, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until next time, stay safe and take care.